Hello, beautiful humans. I hope everyone's thriving. And if you're not thriving and you're having a hard time or someone's sick or someone's in critical condition or you've lost lives or whatever it is, just reach out to me, direct message me. Um, just have a conversation because that's what you should do. You should talk it out, talk it through. Um, this is really important. It kind of goes with this article because it says, Stronger domestic supply chains. This all goes together. Todd N. Tucker is director of governance studies at the Roosevelt Institute. In the ancient days of 2018, the bump dump administration was panned by experts to imposing tariffs on important steel on a global basis for national security reasons. As the president tweeted at the time, if you don't have steel, you don't have a country. Yeah, if you don't have a brain, you don't have a president. Oh, wait. But to most economists... China was the real reason for distributions in the metal market, and imposing tariffs additionally on U.S. allies was nonsensical. The argument went, after all, even if America lost its steel industry altogether, we would still be able to count on supplies from allies in North America and Europe. Well, it is just one world, but whatever. Fast forward to 2020. Just this week, U.S. allies are considering substantial border restrictions, including shutting down ports and restricting imports. While there's no indication that the coronavirus per se is being transmitted through commerce, one can imagine a perfect storm in which deep recessions plus mounting geopolitical tensions limit Americans' access to its normal supply chains, and the lack of homegrown capacity in various product markets limits the government's ability to respond nimbly to threats. Reasonable people can differ over whether Trump's steel tariffs were the right response of the right time. In the years ahead, however, that's my mail coming in, however, expect to see more support from Democrats, Republicans, academics, and diplomats for the notion that government has a much bigger role to play in creating adequate redundancy in supply chains, resilient even of, to trade shocks for allies. This will be a substantial reiteration reorientation from even the very recent past. It's a long one. Because it's a big deal. Um, Dambiso Moyo is an economist and author. They add, the coronavirus pandemic will create pressure on corporations to weigh the efficiency and cost benefits of a globalized supply chain, supply chain system against the robustness of domestic-based supply chain, switching to a more robust domestic supply chain, which would reduce dependence on an increasingly fractured global supply system. But while this would be better ensure that people get the goods they need, this shift will likely also increase costs to corporations and consumers. Basically, we need to slow down. Think about it and share the wealth. Come on. <laughs> 